Hey guys, welcome back. This is the 12th part of our Ruby on Rails frequently asked questions series. In this video, you will get 10 more Ruby on Rails questions. So let's start with the first question of this video. What is the difference between unique and distinct in Rails? Okay, so unique is an array method and distinct is an SQL method. Okay, and both find the record with unique values. So uh, you must have idea about what when to use unique and when to use distinct and what is the difference between that. So when you practice this, you will know the difference between the both. In Rails, how you will get objects with at least one child? For example, this question might be asked to you when you have two models and they have a belongs to an has many association and you want to find the parent instance which has at least one child instance or one child model instance okay so in that case you have to implement that query so you might ask this question so practice this question and you will get answer of it in what cases the change method is not reversible in a rails migration okay so for that first you have to know what is the change method and what are reversible migrations okay and uh, reversible migrations are not possible uh, in change method when you are changing the column type and all that okay so you need to practice that and you will get the answer of this question what happens if you do not provide the column type in remove column migration so this is the similar question similar question to the previous question okay and when you practice that you will get much better idea about it okay because uh, re remove column requires the type argument however it is not mandatory to run the migration to provide that uh, type argument but if you roll back that migration then type must be exist why because if you do not provide type argument for removing a column migration then how rails will know that what was the previous types okay and in that case your migration will not be reversible okay what happens if you roll back a change column migration within the change method okay uh, see the question number 113 okay so it is not reversible to roll back a change migration within the change method change column migration within the change method so practice this and you will get the answer of this what is the difference between preload and include so both preloads and includes are the ways to eager load the data okay but uh, with preload you cannot use uh, records of the associated model or attributes of the associate model in the where query but which includes you can do that how many ways to eager loading the association so there are three ways uh, eager load preload and includes okay and eager loading means that associating the records for the model itself and its associated model itself what do you mean by content for in rails okay so content for is used to display some uh, common piece of view chunks into the specific files so you can use content for and you can render that particular content in different files where you want to display that what do you mean by sanitizing params in rails what is the difference between render and redirect in rails okay because uh, it seems uh, uh, very confusing to the beginners like uh, when to render a template and when to redirect on a particular page or at what actions we need to render the pages or at what actions we need to redirect so uh, just to practice this question and uh, try work, uh, implementing CRUD operations and try to see how request works and what is the uh, page or what is the action that your controller redirecting you or either rendering the page for you and you will get the answer of it okay so these are the 10 questions from this series i will soon publish another video with 10 more questions okay so thanks for watching this video and subscribe the channel for more till then tata goodbye take care and stay safe